Hi guys, this is Rashid and welcome back. Today we would like to show you the application that we can use this AT crawler with the Adobe Pilot. And the application that I'm talking about is the ground inspection robot. I got some requests from customer that they want to take a picture of the ground on the specified area and then combine those pictures as one big image and then put that big image on the map. The taken pictures will be used later for analyzing process such as finding cracks or the strange condition. Then if there's such location, they will send a guy go fixing it or do something on it. I think it's a very interesting project. So if you are ready, let's get started. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay provides a full feature custom prototype services. Not only PCB and PCB assembly, but also they're providing CNC machining, laser cutting, sheet metal bending, injection molding, and even 3D printing services. For example, if you want to make an aluminum heat sink for your PCB or some of aluminum case like this with many detail you want to point out, you will just need to upload your CAD data and drawing reference to PCB way, select some options as you're required. It's very convenient with some few clicks and drag dropping files and wait for their review to make sure there will be no mistake on your order and you will get your parts right in front of your doorstep. PCB Way service could unlock all the limitation in prototyping process and keep the cost as in your budget. Try checking out on PCB Way for your next customized design. This might be a place you're looking for. Let me have some brief explanation about the concept of this application. For example, here is the place that we want to do the inspection and we make the boundary to let the robot run and capture image inside this red area. We would like to know that where is the cracks location and where is the good conditions. So we need to let the robot run and take photo of each point. Once we got the photo, we need to make sure the photo is rotated correctly, meaning even the robot is moving from west to east, but the taken photo will be shown that the top part of the picture is always north and bottom part is always south. After taking all the photos, we're going to combine these photos to become as one big photo. Then we're going to overlay this combined photo on the map with exact same location that it took by the robot. After that, we could send individual photo to AI analyzer to tell that where is the bad condition on the ground. So it could tell precisely where does it need a maintenance. To make the robot run to each waypoint and trigger the camera shutter, I'm going to create a mission file on mission planner and on every waypoint, the robot will take photo and also lock the location as latitude, longitude, and heading. So after that, we could put the image to the correct location. Here is the AT crawler with some modification for this application. At the back here, there are two Magita batteries for longer usage. Inside the box, there is AT motor driver which connect to Q pilot with PDBM port, same as previous video setup. On the left hand side, there is a component computer which is running all of the application level program and serve for the web server and the middle part is DCDC -DC regulator for the computer and Wi-Fi router. The computer is communicating with QPilot by using this USB UART converter. For this time, I replaced here 3 with here 4 GPS in order to get RTK fixed status and I bring it up here and put some ground plate for the better GPS reception. I'm using this webcam to capture the ground image, so with this height and length, it could cover most of the detail on the ground. And here is the software diagram of this application. There is AP handler node, which is taking care of communication between Adobe Pilot and the computer. Image capture handler will connect to the webcam and take care about photo capture and prepare the image file before sent to the web stack. The web stack is just a simple HTML JavaScript with the WebRTC for the data communication in real time. On the web console, there will be a map with robot location showing, and we can select which combined image we want to show. And if we click on download files, it's going to lead direct to file browser application, and we can download the files to our computer for later analyzing. To set up the Do Pilot, please check out my previous video. I did explain all the parameters we need to change and how to calibrate the compass and PID tuning. In this time, I try to use local base station GPS instead of NTRIP. The advantage is you can have RTK fixed status anywhere you are testing 
and it doesn't need to connect to the internet. The RTCM message will be transmitted from F9P base station here to ground station computer by using XB radio unit. On my laptop here, I have one more unit of XB radio to receive RTCM message and it's connected to a USB port and another XB unit for general telemetry. On RTK GPS inject, it's using COM9 and now it's receiving RTCM message from our local base station. And for the compass, I'm using external compass from here 4 and disable internal compass on the cube. The companion computer is connecting to cube pilot on telemetry 2. So we set a serial 2 protocol as maflink 1 and baud rate as 921. And other parameters are same as previous setup. So please check on my previous video for more detail. To create the mission, I'm going to use polygon tool to draw on the area we want the robot to run. And make sure that the polygon is fit correctly by running the robot manually to each corner. After that, I will use Auto Waypoint, Simple Grid, to auto create the waypoint inside Polygon. The waypoint will start from bottom left point. The line spacing could be adjusted to make sure the waypoint is aligned on as much as possible. To set up spacing in line, I would like the image on each waypoint to be close to each other like it's stacking side by side. So the camera is set up at 71 cm height from the ground. And from this height, the frame width is 122 cm and frame height is 66 cm. So each waypoint should have a distance around 60 cm. Then if there is a texture on the ground, we could see it from the combined image. On my test field, there are some cracked lines on asphalt. So I will try to test this line. Then I set spacing in line at 0.6 meter, similar to the visible frame height from camera. Then try to adjusting polygon and parameter as you need. Then click accept to generate the waypoint. Now the robot is ready to run. And the autonomous driving mission is done. On the browser, if we access to the robot IP, we could see the web console which has the map on the left side and the AT crawler icon on the map. We could select from drop down menu to see the combined image from previous driving, then click on show image, and that is the output of this application. Because the map box that I'm using for this application allows the max zoom at this level, so the combined image looks quite small. If we click on download files, then it will link to the file browser application and we could see the raw data image. Here is the combined image in PNG format and we could zoom in to see more detail inside. Also the individual image is stored separately, then you will see the original image before combining. This image data could be used for the analyzing to predict good or bad conditions and later it could be used as new train data for AI detection model. And that is for today's videos, I hope you guys like it. So you could see with this combination of the AT crawler, the AT model driver and the Adu pilot, 
You could make an autonomous driving robot and doing some cool application like what I have shown to you. If you would like to have the AT crawler or AT motor driver similar to what I have, please check out on attractlab-shop.com. I have prepared documentation which you can easily follow along and set up the robot by yourself. If you found my channel is helpful for you, there is a join button where you can start be a member of this channel to support me monthly. Like monthly coffee, 290 Japanese yen or around 1.8 US dollar a month. Monthly ramen, 690 Japanese yen or around 4.4 US dollar a month. Or monthly isakaya, 2,990 Japanese yen or around 19 US dollar a month. Also, there is a super thanks button. If you really like some part of my video, please throw that colorful S to me. It would be a big energy for me to keep doing all of this stuff. If you like this kind of video, please press like and share button. Thank you for watching and see you soon.